Back at my J-O-B. I got man like J- Where you spring from? That's <laughs> <laughs> spring, all right. Oh, shoot. Oh. All right, so we're back at the track. Sorry, Tell, let me start again. So we're back on our JLB. Got man like DC. Ching! Not man like Tia. Girl like Tia. Sorry. All right. Ching! A man like Jay, Justin, representing. All right. So, Tia, what you got today? Um, we have a series of. Oh, so you worked at your word in a better this yeah. time. So I asked Tia what she was doing. She goes, I got calf dribble. So I asked her, because your calf dribble. So she got mad at me. All right, sorry, Tia. Go ahead. Sorry, t- sorry Tia. All right, go again. So I'm sorry. Yes. So we're doing a series of dribbles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We start at ankle height. Right. The... Just it. Behaviour. <laughs> Behaviour. <laughs> and then we build up the calf. Right. And then knee height. Okay. But the aim of the session is working on speed of fast pitch height and muscle fibers. Good. So did you hear that? Where am I? So did you hear that? We're working on fast pitch muscle fibers. I do the same too. So although I've been doing this a long time, I still have to get back to basics and get back to the routine and rehearse. Justin, what's on your agenda? The same? Yeah, same thing, same thing. I'm working on my cadence. Yeah, sorry. I'm working on my cadence, I'm working on my speed endurance. Trying to get used to extending at the knee as well as keep the cadence there as well. Oh, so that's today's agenda. We've got Ian over there, strict as ever. Hands on the hips, that means he's not impressed by me blogging and talking. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to work, bye. Okay, so I've just finished my first set of um, cycling runs, or sometimes they're called dribbles. So I've put a, from this line of uh, where Justin and Ian are to that cone is for about 20, 25 meters. Then we had to progress to another set of cones over there where Tia is, and then there's a further set of cones further down the line. And the aim is to get the legs working in a circular motion. Circular motion in the sense of like your feet on a bicycle pedal. And the aim is to encourage better cadence. And the cadence is the ability to turn your legs quickly in a controlled manner. Now controlling it in a manner where you're not tensing at the neck, but trying to keep everything as relaxed as possible. And that's when you find, if you remember as a kid when you ran, you didn't think about technique, you didn't think about efficiency, you didn't think about arm swing, you just ran and running felt easy as a child. And you want to almost simulate that same feeling, but just doing it under a s- instructions of technique, the principles of running mechanics. You know, so you want to be able to apply that to your running, but doing it in a relaxed, childlike enthusiasm, if I can word it that way. So I'm getting reintroduced back into that method of training again. You would think it comes easy, but with anything you get out of, you can quite easily get caught up in bad habits. And that typically happens with the extreme, the elite, sorry, and athletes that haven't been at the top level. So don't think that because I've been doing it for 20, 30 years, I'll be a master at it. No, it still takes a lot of requirement. It still requires a lot of discipline and a lot of rehearsal. So Miss Tia here now has finished her set of runs. She's now got her spikes on. Tia has made a decision to run the 400 indoors. And I think the fact that an athlete has made their own decision to run a certain distance shows us uh, it's a good indicator of maturity and discipline. I don't know if my light's going to work. So, Tia, why have you chosen to do the four? Why have I chosen to do the four? Mm-hmm. Um, Sorry, light, go on. Um, I've chosen to do the four because when I first came to Lee Valley at the age of 15, 16, mm-hmm. I came here to do long distance, so 400, 800. But they never found a group for me, so I got moved to essentially a 100 meter squad and mm-hmm. I just didn't enjoy it. So I decided to go back to why I came here. There you go. So this is, good. Yeah, so this is where Tia's journey begins. Once we're done, we'll have a word with um, Ian and Justin. <laughs> So as I previously mentioned, Tia is readying herself for a 400 meters indoors. 
which for those of you that don't know what 400 meter indoors looks like, this is an indoor arena. Not many indoor arenas have um, the track like we do, some just don't. Um, but we're blessed with this. Um, so you, anyone that's doing a 400, they'll be running around this lap twice. Not this part in the middle, but this part where Tia and Justin are actually running on. Let's go Tia Marie, let's go Justin. Um, we have Dwayne over there on the floor dying currently after his dribble work. It was a good session. This seems to be recently his finishing pose for nearly every single session. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that is what hard work looks like. Get off sooner, get off quicker, get off quicker. 